All right, now I'm on the back of the math homework, P208. All right, the histogram shows the amount to the nearest dollar that customers spent at a museum gift shop. How many customers spent less than 20? So there's where they started spending 20. So you're going to need to count the frequency, how many people are in this chart, and how many people are in this bar graph. Add those two up, and that is your total. Okay, number two, use a histogram in problem one. How many customers bought something at the gift shop? So this time you're adding up all the frequencies. Eight, this is six, seven, that is, looks like four, and that looks like two. So you're adding up all those numbers and getting your total. Okay, Margaret drew a rectangle with vertices and it gives those points. What are the coordinates of the fourth vertex? So you're going to use graph paper, scratch paper, okay, make an X and a Y axis. Uh, negative two is going to be back two, down one, it's going to be about there. Negative two, negative four is going to be about there. Uh, one, negative four is going to be about here. And so your fourth vertices is going to be somewhere around there, but you need to create the ordered pair, okay? But to make it a rectangle, we connect these dots. That fourth dot's going to need to be somewhere around right here, but you're going to need to use your graph paper to find exactly where the X and the Y is going to be. Okay, number four, a rectangular swimming pool can hold 1,408 cubic feet of water. The pool is 22 feet long and has a depth of four feet. What is the width of the pool? Well, volume equals length times width times height. We know the volume, so I'm going to plug in 1,408 for the V. We know the length. We know the height or the depth but we don't know the width. Well, 22 times 4 is 88, so we have 88W equals 1,408. Now we just divide both sides by 88 to figure out what W equals. So I'm going to let you do that math. Remember, always just start with what you do know. Plug in those numbers. Number five, Deshaun is using his frequency table to make a relative frequency table. What percent should he write in the relative frequency column for five to nine push-ups? So first we need to know the total. Three plus seven is 10, uh, plus eight is 18, plus two more is 20. So the total was 20. And then five to nine, he did seven. He did that seven times. So now we just need to change that into a uh, percent. A couple different ways. You can divide the denominator into the numerator. Uh, you can also set it up to have it to be equivalent fractions. Remember, percent is per 100. So to get to 100, you have to multiply 20 times 5, and then you multiply the top by the same thing, and that's going to be your percentage. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.